Hello everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Here we have a very simple exponential equation, a very simple one. At a glance, you can get the answer to this. The question is m to the power of 2 all over 3 minus 9m to the power of 1 all over 3 plus 8 equal to what that would be the possible value of m. So this is all I must TV. If you're new here and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. So that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. All right, without much waste of time, let's go to today's phone. So we put down our question selection first. So the question is m to the power of 2 all over 3 minus 9 m to the power of 1 all over 3 plus 8 equal to 0. Now, if you look at this, yeah, this is a form of a radical. So we can separate this power here. So long we are having one all over three, let's try to bring out one all over three here. So we can rewrite this as m to the power of one all over three, all to the power of two minus nine, m to the power of one all over three, plus your eight, this is equal to eight. The law I just applied here is easy. The law we say that your eight to the power of m, n is equal to your eight to the power of m, bracket your m or equal to your a to the power of n or into your m so remember this law okay so that's what i just applied here now if i use this to multiply this to give me this back so at this point what we do we are having one, uh, m to the power of one all over three and m to the power of one all over three so we can bring in another alphabet here so we can say let a p equal to your m to the power of one all over three okay so let me write this way. Okay. Now, whenever we see m to the power of 1 all over 3, let's put p there. So we now have here p squared minus 9p the plus r8 equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. So we can solve quadratically now. Very easy. Bring out 8 and look for the factors of 8. Among the factors of 8, Pick two of the factors that where you add together, it will give you minus 9, and their multiplication will give you plus 8. And if you do that, that will give you minus 8, minus 1. So we can rewrite this quantity we have here as our p squared minus p, okay, minus 8p plus 8 equal to 0. Minus p minus 8p will give us minus 9. So that has not changed anything. So we put this in bracket. We also put this in bracket. So what is common here is just p. So we have p into p into p square will give us p minus p into p will give us one. The minus eight is common here. So we have eight bracket. Uh, let me write this my eight very well. So eight into eight p will give us eight. Sorry, p, the minus times plus will give us minus the one plus bracket equal to zero. So at this point now, you'll discover what we have here, what we have here are the same. So we take this outside and take one of the inside. All right, so from here we now have rp, p minus eight plus bracket, bracket, your p minus one equal to zero. So let's continue on this side. So at this point, we cannot apply the zero product rule. We say that if you have your a dot b equal to zero, this will give us a equal to zero or b equal to zero. So if we apply this rule to this, this will now give us here rp minus eight equal to zero or rp minus one equal to zero. Collecting your light ends, we have p is equal to eight or p is equal to um, one. Okay, so we have this to be our P1 and this P2. So, but recall, we said somewhere here that let P is equal to M to the power of 1 all over 3. So let's bring that down. So case 1, our case 1, we have P is equal to what? 8, which is equal to what? Your M to the power of 1 all over 3. So if we are to take this, what we do? We take the cube of both sides. So this will now give us m to the power of 1 all over 3, all to the power of 3. This is equal to our 8 all to the power of 3. These, these cancel out. So we now have m is equal to 8 to the power of 3. That will give us 512. So we now have here 500 
and 12. So this is the first value for our M to X. Now, case two, we have case two, we have our P equal to one, which is equal to M one all over three. Again, we take the cube of both sides. So when I have M to the power of one all over three, R to the power of three, this is equal to your one to the power of three. Of course, one to the power of three will give us one. So this, this leaves. So when I have M is equal to one. Okay. So we have our M to be one and 512. Now I've gone ahead to check. If you substitute either one or 512 into the original equation, the left-hand side is going to give us the right-hand side, which is zero equal to zero. All right. So like I said earlier on, this is a very simple challenge for beginners. But I brought this question just for us to have a cruise, just to have some fun. It's not all the time we solve rhetorical questions. At times we just have to cash fun. At times we just have to exercise our brain. All right. Thanks for always being there. Again, my name is Jake's Animal, and this is Online Mass TV. I'm happy you are still there. You are always there viewing our content in the midst of millions of math challenges or math problems solved by different tutors. We are glad to have you. And we pledge to give you nothing but the best. Thanks for always being there once again. Bye. For now.